Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the pristine, untouched wilderness of the Calm Lands. Um, our uh, windmill we've got, if we just go and take a look at that one, that one does actually mill out oil in this one so we could take the canola turn that into oil and then that's going to be quite profitable it's two canola to make one oil and on our prices that we get here we get 730 for canola so that's 1460 and the oil that we can sell the canola oil is almost 2000 so we get an extra 500 for selling canola oil which would more than make up for the extra that we might get from soybeans so therefore although soybeans you do get a reasonable amount there at one two three seven um but anyway you you get that the yield from canola is is quite a bit higher so with the fact that we've got the mill and we can turn the canola into oil uh, that means that it would actually be more beneficial for us to grow canola. So we're going to grow canola in the field. So we're going to need corn and we're going to need canola. Uh, let's go back to here. So we want corn and we want canola. So we definitely want those two. Then we're going to want wheat or barley. Uh, also um, sorghum, but sorghum is in the same category as corn. And you definitely want to grow corn over sorghum. You get a much higher yield on it. Um, it's just quantity-wise, you get loads more. So corn is no-brainer. We just need the header on the combine and also a planter. So that's kind of like going to hold us back a little bit. But so sorghum is maybe a possibility to start with. And then you got wheat and barley. And it turns out that barley is better than wheat. You get slightly more yield and you get... Well, actually, I'm not sure about the yield. Not sure about the yield. But the, the price is barley does better than... Um, Wheat, he says, that's three seven eight, and that's four oh seven. But the data that I was looking at, um, like it's, it can be a close thing, but barley was winning out over wheat every time for some reason. So barley is better than wheat, apparently. Um, I thought it would be the other way around, but apparently it's not. So we want barley as opposed to wheat, and we want to be growing... So we want barley, canola, and corn to be able to feed our pigs. Now, what we would also want is potatoes or sugar beet. You don't need a lot of them, but it's a good idea to have that because then you get a more balanced um, diet and your pigs end up being worth more. I found out also that if you withhold some of it the value of the pig doesn't increase as much you still get the 100 we've got no pens in here at the moment you still get the 100 percent increase on the animal the 100 percent productivity but the value of the animal doesn't increase as much so when it comes to pigs that's quite important um but that's that's five percent on the potatoes and sugar beets so that can wait but we would want to grow some eventually so that we can do that so we need to do a rotation at the moment that is barley canola and corn we could possibly include oats in that in order so we have these four um in order to be able to uh, get a bit of profit out of it as well depends if we can um, balance this right so I mean if we're going to do barley we can start planting that right now here in org actually no that's canola um, so we one of them we want to plant canola and we want to get that growing and then we've got a year in which to be able to find the money to get a grain storage so that we can store said canola if we wait a month we're then going to be planting barley so i'm actually thinking that we might be better off planting the barley in the big field and doing the small field getting that one going and putting the canola in there so if we had a rotation where we grew barley in this big field then that would be harvested there then we plant canola the following month and we harvest that one year later because canola has a is the longest growing period so barley is planted here and then that would be harvested back here because if you plant it in october you harvest it in july it's it it's always corresponding 
Um, so if we plant September, we will harvest in June. Then we can plant the canola. We can also plant oilseed radish in there if we're running low on fertilizer. Oilseed radish would be a good one to make use of. So we could possibly put that in. I don't know if we'll be able to get that to start with because I do want to do this organically if we can. Um, so we go barley and that's harvested. And then the canola that gets planted here and then harvested the following year and then we want corn now corn has to wait until here before it can be planted so we have to wait until the following spring and then you harvest it all the way over here now we can if we time this just right so long as we plant the corn in april we will harvest it in october we've then got to get the field plowed up and ready so then the barley can be planted straight away and then we so we're a little bit late on that one and it does make it a little bit later the only issue with that is that after corn we would not have time to plant oilseed radish and then have it um, grow and fertilize and so on the only way we could do that is if we added in the spring crop of oats right here and we're on the same rotation then i'm using in the um, time lapse series and i'm actually well i'm using wheat rather than barley but it's essentially the same and that one i go wheat then canola then corn and then oats because then you bring that back and your harvest for the oats is back here and then i've got time to plant oilseed radish in between each of the crops and get them all planted as well so there's a possible rotation that we could use there if we planned it carefully the barley one right here is quite handy because of being able to harvest it earlier it means we've got a bigger window in order to get our um, oilseed radish which is a round of fertilizer going into the field which would be really good um sorghum possibly we could do that to start with instead of corn which means that we wouldn't need to do the oat in there for extra money but anyway that's kind of like thoughts on that i've probably spent way too long talking about that um we need those crops in the ground in order to be able to run pigs the only thing that we're going to struggle with is getting the money to start with to be able to run the pigs and this is going to be our biggest problem we have 1400 euros the price of diesel it's shocking that i am just sitting here letting all of this disappear um so we've got 1400 euros at the moment now if we do decide that we're going to go with barley canola corn whether we do oats after the corn doesn't really matter um we'll do barley in the big field because we'll have surplus from up there that can always be turned into flour like that's going to produce quite a bit more than we would need initially um that could be turned into flour that would be quite good so if we're going to go and plant that we don't need to worry about planting that just yet so what we could do is we could go and plant oilseed radish and if we plant oilseed radish on there now that gives us a round of fertilizer on the field now at the moment that field has that's plowed right it needs lime but it has got one round of fertilizer on it already which is really good because it's been plowed we're not going to have any problem with weeds weeds for some reason you don't have issues with weeds if you plow i don't know quite why the game mechanics work like that but they do and i'm not going to complain about it so we can't put lime on we don't have a lime spreader that one's going to have to wait uh, we can go and plow up field one as and when we're ready to do that but if i put oilseed radish in this field now then we can go over and we can cultivate that one again and we will be able to have a um double round of fertilizer on the field properly and that means that we'll be able to make some right why aren't you on do i need to lower you down to do that 
Oh yeah. Got to lower it down and then kind of hook it in like that. So we go there and lift that one up. Bring you one out. So this is actually a direct drill. We don't need to plough with this one. The only reason that we would is because we that's oilseed radish right there. Um, the only reason that we would plough with this one is because it would give you additional it would give you weed protection. And because I would like to do all of this organically, I don't want to be putting chemicals into the soil. Um, we are going to be hard-pressed to do this with the small amount of seed that we've got. Well, the oilseed radish doesn't actually take very much in the way of seed. Um, I'd like to do this, or I'd like to do all of the farming, organic farming. And so that means that we're going to be using oilseed radish quite a bit until we've got uh, manure coming from pigs. and Well, manure and slurry. So we're going to head off down here. We'll have to go and buy some more. We're going to have to do more tree felling. And we're going to have to do quite a bit of tree felling, I think. I'm also... Now, I was talking about, you know, various different things that I should and shouldn't do in this series. And one of them I did suggest quite a while ago that I would perhaps not do uh, not pay workers or not pay a couple of workers to sort of represent me and Senlea working the farm ourselves without you know and, and not drawing a wage universally hated that suggestion was just well just about universally hated there was one or two people that didn't mind it quite so much but yeah I'm not going to be doing that um, we will stick with me trying to pay ourselves a wage whenever possible. So I can have one, uh, well, I was going to say one hired help. It's kind of like us working. If I'm just watching us doing stuff in the field, then, yeah, I'll put the hired help going. And I'd kind of like, i put the hired help going whenever I possibly can. This is struggling to get up the hill here really struggling but at least it's planting we're getting the oilseed radish in the ground now there's a couple of other things that I'm going to want to do one is cut down more trees so we've got two trees up there beside the windmill that we want to take down we've cut down everything we own over that way so we're left with trees around our farm down over there deciduous trees I've no interest in trying to cut those and transport them to the mill I've had nothing but headaches heartbreak and just rage quits trying to move any deciduous trees so when it comes to those I will simply use the chainsaw mod which also you know, engage the super strength bit you point the chainsaw at the tree you run it and it deletes the tree and the tree stump everything it's all gone I will be doing that if I need to cut down any deciduous trees to move them out of the way um, I don't want to get involved so all we're doing is we're essentially calling up the sawmill and saying look we've got this freestanding timber right here if you want it come and get it we won't charge you for it we're not selling it to you. We're not interested in taking any money. All we want you to do is just come and take the tree. You have to clear the stump away as well as part of the cost of having the timber. They naturally will say, oh, yes, please, we'll have that. And so then they'll come and get it. So that's all that's happening right there for anybody that is worried about the, you know, sort of less than realistic approach of pointing a chainsaw at a tree and having it disappear it's not actually doing that it's the people that run the sawmill coming and getting it for free and then they can process the timber and so on and yeah I'm quite happy with that happening um, so wages I'm 
going to be paying wages and we've got myself and Senleia. So we can have up to two hired help workers working in the field. However, if I've got two hired helpers working in the field, I cannot be doing any other work at the same time because we need to be quite careful. It's myself and Senleia. I'm just working for a while and actually, you know, pulling a wage from our own farm, which is something that is quite handy. It's something that we do want to be able to do. So ordinarily, if I'm off doing a job and we've got the hired help can also be doing a job on the farm, that's representing the two people. It's myself doing whatever other work and the hired help doing some work. That's how we will do it, until we are able to provide alternative means of accommodation for the workers. And this was something that was suggested a few times by a number of different people. And this is a suggestion that I actually really like as well. So uh, that's one that we will be working with. Um, the, what else was there talked about? I can't really remember. Um, it was basically just things like that. It was mostly... Um, I want, I'm, I'm kind of like going to do this as a hardcore series and some of the ideas that I've had people don't really like and some of the ideas I've had people do seem to like. Um, so I'm still, although a lot of you have just said, look, just, just play the game however you want. I still want to run this kind of like a, it, it is a hardcore series, it's supposed to be. We're on hard mode, we're doing things, we're, we're not trying to make it easy. I'm using things like autoload trailers just to speed processes up, things like that. I don't want to be um, doing the same tired old jobs over and over and over and over because, quite frankly, that gets really dull for everybody and we don't want to be doing that. Um, what I... What else am I going to do? Um about what else I, I can't think of what else I was thinking that I, I was going to talk about um, I guess because I was, I was going through some of the suggestions that people had made um, or some of the reactions to uh, some of the different suggestions I've made to things that we could do here and for the most part it was pretty much as I expected um, I won't oh um, a few people have said that they don't like the idea of me having turned off the um, crop destruction although I'm going to leave that one off because so many of you said that like the amount of crop that gets destroyed in the game and completely destroyed at such an early stage in crop growth as well is far less realistic than no damage at all happening when you drive on the crops and I'm inclined to agree with that. I mean, I've driven across fields, uh, well, not all the way across, I've driven into fields that have got wheat in them, uh, well, crop, any crop that's ready to harvest. It's actually ready to harvest, ready to go. And I've driven into the fields and driven over it. And you still don't lose very much at all in the way of crop. Like, your combine is still going to get the majority of even the stuff that you've driven over it's still going to pick up the majority of it when you're driving over a crop that is half grown and your wheels go onto the plants it's going to knock it back a bit it's not going to completely totally destroy it and yes it may not be quite ripe compared to some of the other stuff a little bit later on but it's not going to utterly destroy large chunks of it and this is the argument that a lot of people have made with the crop destruction being less realistic than no crop destruction at all. So for that reason, I'm leaving um, the crop destruction turned off for this series. Um, I'm going to go round, I think twice round will be enough actually. And then I think we ought to have some hired help doing some work in here so that I can draw a wage on what I'm doing because I don't really want to do this all manually. The only problem we've got is that I don't have any, um, I, d I don't have a second tractor. And this is something that I would like to get. However, a lot of the machinery that we've got seems to be fairly heavy duty stuff. So we're going to be a bit limited on what we can and can't do. So this one's a loader tractor and this one is 
unless we get another big tractor, we're going to struggle to find something that will be able to do loader work sufficiently that we can, um, like, uh, do more forestry work with it. That's going to be quite tricky to do. Um, so, yeah, get, I mean, get, getting another tractor is going to be something that we want to do. I'm just not quite sure when it's going to turn up on our priority list. We'll, we'll kind of play that one by ear, I think. Uh, right, so pigs. We're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing pigs on here. This is gonna be our sort of main primary focus. So there was oh, there was a few people that were saying, could I kind of like give us a goal to work towards? Several of you were saying you'd really like me to at least establish some kind of goal at the beginning that I should be working towards. Some of you said that I should have a limit on the number of episodes on here, and I thought about that for a bit, but I've decided against it. I don't want to limit the number of episodes that I'm doing on here, purely because I just... Well, many, because I just don't want to. Um, I... You know, I think we should go around one more time. I think it's going to be quite enough room to turn around. And the reason that I don't want to do... Uh, a set number of episodes is because I'm not quite sure how long things are going to take and what we're going to do and you know whether or not I'm going to be really enjoying the map in 50 episodes time or if I'm going to be ready for a change then or if I'm going to want to go for another 50 episodes so um, I'm not going to put any number on it what I would like to do though is one of my targets is that I want two pig barns to large pig barns full of pigs and have had them full and be feeding them properly a decent balanced diet for at least a year um, prior to doing anything else and the pig barns actually we'll have a look at that in a minute let me finish going around the field before we, and we'll put the hired help going I, I want hired help being used as much as possible because that's me drawing a wage from the farm you don't work for free even if you are running your farm you still don't work for free you still got your own bills to pay you still got food to eat and so on and never using hired help so your money never drops down is to me quite unrealistic because you're never drawing a wage what are you eating how are you paying your daily bills and stuff like that i know that you get maintenance for the farm you get a little expense go out all the time but that doesn't seem enough to be covering um food and other such things like that so i'm kind of thinking that okay it's really struggling going up the hill here isn't it I'm sort of thinking that, yes, I'm going to be putting hired help going as often as I possibly can in this series, just to kind of represent the daily expenses that you would expect to be going out. Like it, it's not unusual to have expenses going out on a regular basis. Um, drag this one on up here a little bit further. There we go. Right, we are doing just fine. So, I've also got to decide what I'm going to buy next. And I'm kind of thinking that if I was to put my focus onto saving up and buying another piece of land as my main priority here, then I would be able to use the timber on the next piece of land we'd be able to cut a load of that down as well and we'd be able to sell that to make more money that's going to be sort of our primary income to start with i'm not using any greenhouses in this series i feel that greenhouses are a bit unbalanced and i don't particularly like just how much money you get coming back from them it kind of feels like it would throw the series out of whack a little bit i was using greenhouses and very reliant on them in the last series as well so i i don't want to use them at all in this one purely because i want to see how you can get through a series get through you know a playthrough on hardcore on you know on hard mode 
without having to rely on greenhouses for your main early game income. And we all know that greenhouses do provide a massive amount of income compared to anything else for effort, um, input versus output, etc, etc. And I kind of, I, I don't want to be reliant on that. So that's why I'm not getting involved with that being um, a, a thing at all. Right, let's do a couple of passes on here. Now, when you're doing oilseed radish, it doesn't matter if you roll or do anything else to it once you've got the oilseed radish planted. It won't affect anything at all. So we don't need to do anything else other than just plant the oilseed radish. That's literally the only thing that we need to do here. We definitely don't need to worry about rolling it. It would be really nice, though, if after we plant the barley... Um, next month if we could have um, if we could have a roller if we could have a roller and we could roll it we would get that extra little bit of yield bonus plus it would also get rid of the stones um, and the stones whilst they don't affect yield in any way they do uh, damage your machine fairly quickly right I'm going to set the hired help going now there we go, we've got Senleia driving the tractor at the moment. And there is our money starting to tick down. So we are doing this job with the hired help. I'm going to let the hired help work in here a bit. I might go and walk up and we could start cutting down uh, a couple of the trees in a bit while the hired help is still working in here. But we're going to watch this one working in the field for a bit while I talk about the pigs. So, didn't go and look at them just then. We can look at them now while the tractor is working. So we go into construction here, and we go to animals, and we go to pigs. So we've got the basic one is 30 pigs there. It's 28,000. You've got the second size up. takes 108 pigs, and it's 109,000. This one takes 270 pigs, and it's 164. There are some extras over here. So we've got this one here. 250,000 takes 300 pigs. There's a 400 pig sty there, which is the same price as that one down there. It's just been edited to hold extra pigs, which I quite like. I do like that. Uh, then you've got the free range pasture versions, which are quite cool. So that one's 324 for a large, and that one's 216. So this one here, you put, you, you put that down, then you put the fence around the outside yourself. So you can choose what fence you want to put around it. Um, that one's 324, which is a very, it's a very specific number, isn't it? Why 324? Uh, there's 100 in that one and there's 80 in that one. So for me, it's pretty much a choice between the 400 pig one and the 270 pig one. There's... I would... I'd be very tempted to go with the 400 pig one. Although it means that we'll need a lot more food in order to make it work. So what you do is you get... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.